Well, hey there. It's my favorite little guy. How's it going? Little guy. Oh my gosh. Long time no see, everyone. I'm so sorry. I think we were too absorbed in our own conversation. My apologies as well. Our enthusiasm becomes unchecked during practice. It's been a while, everyone. I hear everybody loves your new production. Well, obviously, it's only natural for us. I actually noticed that you came to watch us on our opening day, Lloyd. I do hope you enjoyed it. All right, I just happened to be tagging along with Cecile. Your performance was phenomenal, though. I already knew Elia was something else, but I've become a huge fan of Rixia, too. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. My, my. The two of you have gotten awfully close now, haven't you? Maybe I should let Cecile know her little bro is putting the moves on my co-star. The moves? What moves? Hey, Elia, I swear. How fortunate for you, Lloyd. The rest of us have not had the privilege of watching the show, as our tickets are for next week. Not only that, but you got to watch Arconziel all alone with Cecile. Just the two of you in a dimly lit theater, watching a mesmerizing play together. Dang it, I'm so jealous. It was not just the two of us, Randy. There was a packed theater. What could we possibly do? Especially with Rixia, who can apparently see everything. It's okay, you two. Calm down. Even though he is a shameless flirt, trying to win over Rixia so soon after being with Cecile. What did I do to deserve this? Sure, I'll admit I'm guilty for going to see the play before you guys, but I... Stare. Stare. <laughs> Little brother. One percenter. Please, I'm begging you, stop. My favorite little guy has it hard. I'm sure if I were to throw my hat into the ring too, we'd have plenty of fascinating reactions. My life isn't your plaything. Now, now, I think you've all had enough fun already. Don't tease him too much, Ilya. I doubt he can handle it for much longer. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold off for now. So anyway, what brings you guys here today? We have a bit of time to relax, so would you like to have some tea? Thanks, but no thanks. We're here on business. You sent us a support request, right? Oh, right. I had completely forgotten. Sorry about this. It started with the three of us discussing the matter. It somehow just ended up turning into another practice session, though. You went from discussing a stalker to having a dance practice. That's interesting. What are you guys talking about? Get your head out of the clouds, Elia. We're discussing the stalker you told us about last night. Oh, that little thing. Did you really have to bug them about it? It's not like there was any harm done, so we may as well ignore the whole thing. You wanted to ignore the whole thing last time, and if we had, Ellie's grandpa would be dead now. Man, you gotta hand it to her. Total nerves of steel to be unfazed by a stalker. There's not a hint of worry on her, though, as another woman, I find it hard to believe she isn't feeling uneasy. I don't know, Ellie, we're talking about a woman who just, like, slapped the face of a mobster and forgot about it. I don't think it fazed her at all. I'm sorry. We may be calling them a stalker, but it could be an overzealous fan for all we know. I feel like that's synonymous with stalker though. Right, we only heard about it ourselves last night when Elia told us. Despite what they say, those two seem worried. Um, well, I think it'd be best to start by calming down a bit. I'd appreciate if you could give us an overview of the incident. Okay, allow me to explain. Will that be okay, Ilya? Well, I suppose since he's here, all right, Rixia, go ahead and tell him. Right. The incident in question took place about a week or two ago. The stalker in question started showing up around her home. He typically loiter around outside, but in the last few days, he's apparently even been spotted entering the apartment. I see, so he's been stalking out the area then. 
The thing is, neither Vixia nor I have actually seen him firsthand. How do I put this? I just get this feeling someone's watching me every now and then. It's just a feeling, though. Our culprit must be pretty stealthy if he's watching Elia all the time, and not even she spotted him. Isn't Elia's home address private information, though? Yes, of course. We never reveal our employees' addresses to the public for safety reasons. Even so, our stalker has managed to figure out where Elia lives. Going off your story, though, it sounds like there have been some witnesses, yeah? Did they see anything that could identify the guy? According to a bystander, he was described as a short boy, maybe around 14 or 15 years old. His face was well hidden thanks to a hat, so we don't have any further information. Hmm. Sounds like just some obsessed fanboy to me. Fan or not, he's clearly gone too far. What if it's Jonah? We can't deny the fact that the stalking could escalate into something more. I feared as much, too. We trust your abilities, so we were hoping you could put a stop to this before it goes any further. Oh yeah, I just remembered something. Did you enter my apartment yesterday, Rixia? Kinda had a sneaking suspicion that some of my stuff had been rearranged. You're the only one with a spare key, right? Elia, what the heck? Uh, no. That can only mean one thing, Elia. This is bad. Really bad. Don't tell me he's already broken into your house. If it's true, then the situation is much more dire than we first suspected. There's no time to lose, then. Please do something about this immediately. Man, you sure love to freak out about nothing, Avon. It's not like I have anything scandalous sitting around at home. Anyway, that's not what they're worried about. They're not worried about your stuff, Elia. They're worried about you. You're missing the point, Elia. Seriously. I really wish to avoid reaching the same level of publicity we had with the Yin debacle. And it'd be even worse if our culprit turns out to be a diehard fan. If it's possible, I'd like for you to have him cease the stalking confidentially. And if it's not possible, then please rest him. Could you please help us, please? Yes, I, I will help you. Uh, this could grow into something more dangerous if we let it continue to brew. Thank you kindly. We'll be counting on you to solve this. At least we know where our stalker likes to hang out, yeah? I figure the guy will walk right into our hands if we just stake the area out. If that's the plan, then do you want to borrow the key to my place? It'd probably be a bit more convenient to use it as a base of operations, yeah. Are you sure that's okay? Fine by me, my friends. I'll just keep Rixia's spare key on me. Oh, by the way, I live in an apartment complex by the name of Villa Raisins. Interesting. Over on West Street. Oh, that place. That's the highest end apartment building on West Street, isn't it? Sure is. My room's on the top floor. Here you go. The key. I'll be sure to keep it safe. I'm sorry, everyone. I would love to be able to help out with the case. But he probably recognizes me since I'm always with Elia. If I'm there, he'll know something's up. Don't worry about it, Rixia. Just leave the investigation to us. He can fall back with Elia and the rest of the troop while we do our job. Okay, will do. Will you contact us if you manage to catch the culprit? I'll grab Elia and come running. Not a problem. Rixia becomes notably more vigilant when it comes to matters concerning Elia. I'm surprised Rixia didn't just kill this guy. I mean, she's Yin. Might as well just kill the stalkers. What does it even matter? It's a wonder Elia is still alive with her lack of fear and surprise. You are not wrong. As soon as I heard that she slapped the Dawn, I was like, why are you alive still? How has your existence continued to this day? I guess no one can be mad at her face. Anyway, guys, let's head there immediately. Yeah, let's. Right. Let's go give this starstruck fan a little taste of reality.
Oh, they're just cutscening me there. Okay. The top floor of Villa Raison. Ilya's room should be up there. Should we investigate inside her room first off? Definitely. Let's head up the top. Okay. The door is locked. All right, the key should... What's the matter, Lloyd? Uh, sorry, something caught my eye. Check it out, scratches from a lockpick. They're small, but they're there. Whoever opened it must be relatively skilled. Shall we take this as confirmation that someone broke into the apartment? I'd say so. That just means we have to catch him even faster. Yeah, or else we run the risk of our stalker making his next move. Let's give the investigation everything we've got, for Elia's sake. You said it, pal. Also, I don't know how Avon thought that just asking the guy to stop stalking Elia would do anything. It's not really how stalker mentality works. Who cares if he's a die-hard fan? You can't just go around breaking into people's homes. Wow, the penthouse of a fancy apartment building is just as impressive as I dreamed. True, only someone like Elia could possibly afford to live in such a big place by herself. But isn't this place a little... dirty? Is that all alcohol? Scattered clothes and empty wine glasses. I can only assume that this was Elia's doing, not the stalker's. I always thought Elia was an interesting character. Something like this isn't too surprising, honestly. I gotta admit, as a fan, it's a little disappointing. Anyway, let's try searching for any traces the culprit might have left behind. Our end goal is to catch him and keep him from messing with Elia ever again. We should proceed with caution for the initial investigation, though. Right, we only have vague testimonies to fall back on in a case like this. If we don't catch the stalker in the midst of the acts, he can simply feign ignorance. True, this is turning into a real pain in the butt. In order to catch him, I would like to begin with examining his criminal profile, behavior, and uncovering his infiltration route. That's a good start. We should question the apartment residents while we're at it. May as well scope out the layout of the building, too. We ready to go dig up some clues? Sure. Okay, let's observe. Wine glasses and bottles are scattered across the apartment. All that's left in the bottles are a few drops of wine. Did she stay up all night drinking? Well... I've heard that Ilya Platier is a pretty heavy drinker. Wouldn't be surprised if this much was just another evening for her. Wow, that's a uh, little scary, actually. Eh. Is what it is. Clothes. Various clothing is messily strewn about the bed. These are all brand name clothes, and yet... Complete and utter disarray. Looks like she just dumped him all here this morning and left everything as it was. Yeah, it's not hard to imagine the chaos of her getting ready to go to work. Okay. Nothing else? Nothing else. Let's talk to people. Start with the maid. Hi. Okay, let's try to get some answers. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk? The SSS asked for information about the stalker. Ah, I've heard rumors about this stalker. As the caretaker of this building, I've been extra careful myself. Have you ever actually seen them? I come here every day, but I haven't seen anything definitive just yet. I do think I caught a glimpse of them the other day, though. I saw a young man covering his face with a hat. He disappeared too quickly before I was able to catch any details. Are you able to recall any other defining features? 
Let me think about it for a second. Hmm. The only thing I could say for sure was that it was strange how not a single thing about him stood out. His appearance was so unremarkable that I can't recall anything about him. A total average Joe, huh? Brutal. This matches up with Rixia's statement well enough, though. Dumped them all here. Two pieces. Of yes. All. Two. Eh. Eh. Too much to make a whole pile of clothing on the bed. The SSS asked for information about the stalker. The stalker, huh? Yeah, I've heard some rumors about him. I'm usually cooped up in my home, so I haven't run into them yet. I have heard the occasional weird noise, though. I can sometimes hear somebody rummaging around upstairs in the middle of the day. But as far as I'm aware, whoever lives on the third floor is usually away at work all day. Do you recall when you started hearing them? As soon as the anniversary festival started. So in the last two or three days, I'd say. What could he have been doing inside of Elia's room? Not sure, but there doesn't appear to be any evidence of property damage or tampering with her belongings. Interesting. There's a stalker? That's frightening. I do head out quite often to go shopping, but I can't say I've seen anyone suspicious. Do you usually shop during the middle of the day? That's right. I have a pretty consistent routine and always leave at the same time. Our stalker is striking when most people are out of the house. Yeah, he's avoiding the busiest hours inside the building. We've got a crafty one on our hands. Okay, nothing else in your house. Moving along. I remember there was like a little exit over here. Where I got a treasure chest. Hi. Was that just confetti? Yeah, it was just confetti. I thought I saw like a blue sparkly something. What the? Fresh scuff marks are on the handrail. What's going on, Lloyd? Come check this out. There are scratch marks on this surface. I don't think they were caused by a random passerby. The scratches are facing inwards. If you think about it logically, the back door is an ideal entry point to sneak into the building. Good thinking, Teotot. You could sneak past the main entrance using this alleyway. If they were able to avoid the main entrance, that would explain the lack of witnesses. It'd be careless of us to draw a conclusion this early. Let's look for more clues first. Roger. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Okay. Back inside. Hello. Oh, for IDO's sake, can't we eat out for lunch at least? No, I already prepared our lunch this morning. So quit your complaining and just eat. Did we just walk into the middle of a storm? Uh, excuse us. Do you have a moment? A stalker, you say? That sounds like a problem to me. Have you tried consulting the police? I am the police. The amount of times people look at Lloyd and they're like, he's not a police officer, when I'm pretty positive his jacket says police on it. Pretty sure it does. Wouldn't it be better to contact the Bracer Guild? Our police force acts far too slowly. I take it you don't have any information? I suppose I don't. I spend most of my time relaxing on the sofa, out in the entrance, but... I can't say I've ever spotted any suspicious people. Are you sure you aren't just imagining it? Wow. I think I figured it out. She didn't see him come in from the main entrance. He may be using an alternative entrance, just as we suspected. The probability of him using another entrance is fairly high. I think we can begin devising a strategy now. Alright. I think we've gathered enough information now. Let's reconvene in Elia's room and sift through the evidence we've managed to obtain thus far. 
got it. About time we started getting a plan together. It 100% does, yeah. I thought it did. I mean, it's been a minute since I looked at the box this game came in, but you can, you can see it. It's on like all the patches, I'm pretty sure. I guess people in this world don't read. <laughs> 